Records show that Ellis murder case against Garcia was dismissed. Cameron County District Attorney Luis Science says the indictment was issued under a new case number. The new indictment charges him with one count of murder in the death of Garcia and one count of unlawful possession of a firearm. All previous motions were transferred to the new indicted case. Ellis is scheduled for a jury trial today for the Garcia case. While we're working to learn the details of a fatal crash in McAllen, authorities responded to the 400 block of East Wayland Road early Sunday morning. Authorities are confirming a fatality. Now, this is a developing story. We have this information on our website, valleycentral.com. And we're working to learn the identity of a man involved in an officer involved shooting at a McAllen Stripes convenience store. Officers say it happened early Saturday morning at a Stripes store on South 10th Street. According to the po police report, a man with a gun stole money from the store and threatened to kill the person who called authorities, then left in a black SUV. Police tracked down the vehicle and suspect. The man pointed a gun at an officer and that's when the officer shot him. He was taken to the hospital. Y'all can't leave without taking a look at the sunrise. It's a pretty one this morning. You see all the clouds so back nice. in the distance. Yes, I, I see that boardwalk going up into the I beach. know, I know, and it's nearly 7 a.m. So I said this earlier, the sunrise is getting later and later, y'all. Hey, I'm excited for the uh, time of the day to get shorter. I'm going to be honest because it means that we get to go to bed and it's going to be dark outside. Um, oh, so nice. I'm honestly yeah. looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> we have 12 days until the official first day of fall, 50 days until Halloween. Right after Halloween, we get our uh, you know official time change. So we're kind of really getting into the thick of things here. Thanksgiving in 70 three days. I don't have our Christmas countdown today, Danielle, but just give us a couple well, weeks. Well, that's pretty much it. Thanksgiving right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this afternoon, no need for the rain jacket. Temperatures near that 100 degree mark by the time we get to 3 to 4 p.m., so another hot one. But if you wait until the end of next week, we're going to see those rain chances pop up. Hopefully, we get a few of those. We just got to wait until Thursday, Friday. I love rain chances. Like I said, I'm okay with it being this week, and that's fine. Perfect. There yeah. you go. Yeah. We're good, right? <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. it. Well, it was a good Monday. Thank you for getting your day started with us. We hope you have a great day. We'll see yeah. you soon.